Hey y'all, welcome back to Redneck Cooking with Billy Ray. Now today for you I got a snack food. You see, one of my favorite things in the world is pickled eggs. You can buy them usually at convenience stores, bars, or you can make them yourself. And today Billy Ray is going to teach you how to make his version of pickled eggs. It's really easy peasy. First thing you got to do is boil you off some eggs. I got probably about 14 or so already done. So now that we got that part out of the way, what you got to do is you got to build your brine, the thing that your eggs are going to be sitting in. So to do that, first thing you need, you need one big skillet. We're going to put that down over there. Now to make your brine, we're just going to combine equal things. And we're going to start with three cups of white vinegar. We got a third cup of uh, white sugar. Throw that in there. Now, here's a few little tricks that I do. Number one, we're going to throw in one crushed up beef bouillon cube. We are going to throw in one 12 ounce beer. Mm -hmm. And one of my special ingredients, I like using about a half cup of ketchup. We're going to throw that into the brine. And the last thing you need is you need your pickling spices. So I got about a tablespoon here. I'm gonna throw that on in. Now, what you gotta do next is you gotta stir that sucker up, and then you wanna put it on high until it boils. You're gonna let it boil for about five minutes, and then you're gonna turn it off the heat and put it aside and let it cool. Once all that's done, we'll come on right back and I'll show you the next step of this uh, this uh, pickle brine. Now I realized in that last segment I said pickle brine when we're actually making an egg brine. Thing is, your bull pal Billy Ray doesn't have time to go down to the food mart, so we're just going to keep that in there. So now that your egg brine is done, you just transfer over to something that's easy to pour out of. As you can see, I got it right here. Now, what you're going to need at that point is you're going to need some mason jars of some kind. I got a couple right here. And this is where you're going to build your pickled eggs. Now, a few little secrets to how I build my pickled eggs. First things first, you want to take some minced garlic, and we're going to put about a spoonful inside each of these mason jars. So, I'm gonna throw that in there. The other secret that your old pal Billy Ray likes to do is he likes to add beef jerky. So you grab some beef jerky, whether you wanna do some pepper or any other flavors, you're up to you. I just like using standard. And what you wanna do is you take the beef jerky, cut it down two things, and then you just wanna cut a little strip out of each section. What we're doing is we're scoring this so that we can add a little bit of beefy flavor to the eggs at this point. So we're gonna throw one, two, inside each of our mason jars. Now all you gotta do, you gotta take, and you just wanna throw in some eggs. I said I did about a dozen or so, so we're gonna throw some in there. Take some more eggs, then throw some in there. And you wanna make sure that you leave yourself some room at the top. That way, the brine can cover everything. So, what we got here, we got two little egg jars. And then, very carefully, we're gonna take this hot brine and we're gonna spill it on our hands and burn ourselves just a bit, but Billy Ray's tough. So we're gonna take it and do the first one. Set that down. And we're gonna do a second one. And then, make sure you got some good seal in your caps. We're just going to screw these suckers on real quick. Got one. We got two. And I always make sure I give them a little shake. And what we got here is we got Billy Ray's pickled eggs. In about one to two weeks, you're going to take these out of the freezer, or freezer, fridge, because that's where we're putting them. And I like to, about every day when I get breakfast, and when I get dinner, I like to give them a shake. So we're going to come back in about, we're going to call it two weeks this time, but we'll be back in two weeks and we'll show you what they look like when we get back. Now that it's been two weeks, we can take our pickled eggs out of the fridge and we got ourselves one glorious treat. So you just take off the cap here, we're going to pull ourselves out. Not only are we going to pull out one pickled egg, but remember that beef jerky we put in there? Now we got pickled jerky too. So, it's like two treats in one. You got the pickled jerky, and you got a pickled egg. Hmm, mm, mm. That was Billy Ray signing off. Remember, you don't gotta be fancy to be gourmet.